guys welcome back to my channel it's Malik Jante. I really 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 do appreciate you clicking on this video um, once again if you're new hey girl if you're not new hey girl I'm glad you're back you know we need to keep in contact stay in touch you know love on one another but today as you could tell by the actual title of the video this is not going to be one of my normal videos i wanted to come back or not come back but i wanted to come and talk to you all about something that's really been bothering me um i don't even know where to begin um so let me just retract so i feel like I'm 26 so a lot of my friends are in that same age range 26 or fresh out of college or maneuvering adulthood trying to figure things out and I think we're all overwhelmed and stressed out and feel as if what we are doing is not enough now for some people life is just pew pew taken off everything is happening how they want it to happen for what we can see and then for others life obstacles keep showing up life obstacles keep starting robot blocks in our lives that are just like i don't know if i can do this anymore i don't know if this is what i'm meant to do or i don't know if i can hold out and do this any longer but I was, you know, doing my normal go through Snapchat and one of my friends, one of my, yeah, one of my friends from college, she had put it on there that she just keeps seeing people give up and they're really stressed out and unsure of themselves and I don't even know, like they're just very low and hard on themselves so it's kind of to the point where if i go through this whole process and i fail at something and it doesn't work out how i thought it was going to work out i am my worst critic and i start to break myself down but in actuality it's kind of counterproductive because if that was my friend in the same predicament i wouldn't talk to them or say the things that I'm saying to myself. So I fell at something, I'm calling myself dumb or stupid or whatever the case may be. Words are power and it's really hurting me to see how many people, whether it be on my Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat or in real life in general, that are tearing themselves down because they make a mistake or something doesn't fall through or something's not as planned as they want it to be or their life is not pew, taken off like the next person. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody has to figure things out for themselves. And the reality is we're not all going to be on this straight path to success. That's not reality. Sorry, not going to be reality. Um, but I just want for us to talk more to ourselves as we would talk to someone that we love and care about the same. In that Snapchat, when I tell y'all that pulled on my heart because what she was saying was so true. It's kind of like if my best friend said that she was stressed out or she feels like she's in a job that is not for her i'm going to encourage her to talk about it we're going to try and figure some things out try and find a solution however if it was me talking to myself because guys let's be honest we talk to ourselves i'm not doing the same for myself it's more or less you're you're failing at life and you're a disappointment to those around you and honestly a lot of times that's far from the truth if i was to right now call my mother and or my father or my brother or whomever and say hey can you tell me something that you're proud of me for there's going to be a list of things that they're proud of but that list of things that they're proud of is just because they know how hard i'm working and i'm grinding 
me on the other hand those things are small steps that i just don't appreciate and i think we should appreciate the smaller things so that we can appreciate the bigger things so much more um let's go with me personally um right now i don't know if i honestly am happy happy in where i am in life um yes my family's great yes my friends are great yes i try to make the best out of things however career wise i'm not happy um and i try to be that friend to not dwell on the negatives in life because ah, i can't get emotional um the negatives in life really will bring you down and if you constantly focus on them it distracts you from what you're trying to do um so i i know i'm smart i know i'm able to grasp a lot of things i know that there's so much that i want to do but i also know that where i am right now in life i'm not happy with it career wise if i could i would quit corporate america and just do something else but that's not my reality i have to take care of me i have to take care of what's going on at home so lack of sleep is going to be one of those you know big things in my life and trying to figure out and plan what's best for me um i'm trying to get closer to god to understand what my purpose is um because i don't know what that is right now um Yeah, I just don't know what that exact thing is yet. I know what I am good at. I know what I'm not good at. I know that it's not something that I'm just going to wake up one day and be like, oh, baby girl, that's what it is. That's what you're supposed to be doing. I don't think that's what's going to happen. However, I do know if I keep putting my hands in different things and believing in what God has planned for me, things will eventually work out. I don't walk around moping around and I can't because I have people that's looking up to me. I have people that depend on me. And if I'm sitting around moping around or confused or any of that, I look crazy in my head. I, I refuse to allow others see me others to see me sweat and or down on myself um so i think right now is just understanding once again like i said my purpose understanding what i'm here for understanding that as long as i keep going and not putting myself down i think everything will be fine and i want everyone else around me to do the same so turning the page i think it's more or less planning and figuring out what's right and that goes for creating my own happiness and making sure that the people around me are doing the same um i'm seeing people i'm good about doing this i'm good about going to the side secluding myself from everything and everybody and just not talking about things because what's the point i don't want to seem like a complainer i'm blessed right now so what's the point of even talking about it but the reality is so many people around you are going through it so i think we should do less of the secluding and more of the talking it out and trying to find solutions um because it's getting a little scary out here i'm seeing a lot of suicidal posts and I'm depressed and the anxiety of a life and the life stresses, it really bothers me. Like really, 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 really bothers me. Like I don't like to see the people around me going through these things and I see it oh too often. So I just want 
everybody to understand that life will happen. Bad things, unfortunately, will happen, but it's all about how you react to them that will make also much more of a difference. Um, yeah, like, that's all I can say is we can't keep dwelling on what happened in the past, what we went through in the past. We have to find a solution to do better and be better and love better and care better and just be better as a whole. Like, that, that's all I'm striving to be. Um, and if you feel like everything is dark and toxic around you, it's time to change your environment. Last night, literally had a, a conversation with my friends and we were literally talking about moving away from those things that are bringing you down or holding you back because a lot of us know what our purpose is but we're too scared to act on it because of the people around us that are start that are tearing us down do not and i repeat do not allow those around you that are toxic and negative and naysayers say that you cannot do anything because that's ridiculous everybody and anybody can live up to their highest potential as long as they put in that hard work and that's what we're here to do so please don't allow the small things to grow and fester and become larger things that you then thus cannot control and you are in a darker place than what you are right now start to find who you are love who you are be who you are and put the people around you who know that around you at all times because those people will constantly encourage you and constantly keep you pushing because if you have people around you that are naysayers or negative nancy's they will uh, uh, they will drain you and that's so unhealthy so i create a pack today i solemnly swear to remain positive remain understanding to constantly work to find my happiness happiness what and to just be positive in everything and everyone around me like the negative vibes no go no go gotta let it go so let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're going through down below. We can talk about it. If you feel like you don't have anyone to talk about, girl, guy, let's get it done. Let's talk about it. DM me. Whatever the case may be, we can talk about it. I'm here to listen. I'm here to be a voice of reason. Sometimes we don't feel like we have those people, but I'm here no matter what. All my social media is down below as well as you can leave a comment in the comment section or send me a message through youtube it doesn't matter what the avenue is if you have my number personally and you're going through something let me know and we can talk about it and try and figure out a solution but this is all that i want to come on here to talk about because it's been heavy on my heart um and I may just keep doing these things. If it's heavy on my heart, we need to come together, talk about it, try and figure out a solution and be better. But once again, this is Malik Wajante and I'll see you in the next one.